Already started early in the morning, the air filled with a fresh scent of rain as a light drizzle made the road slightly wet for the first 30 kilometers. I was running 5 minutes late, pushing harder than planned to catch up with the other two riders at the agreed meeting time. The gentle uphill stretch demanded more effort than expected for such an early hour, a small price to pay for my tardiness. My two companions arrived within seconds of each other and we quickly formed a mini peloton to embark on our 100 mile, 160 kilometers journey. They appeared fresh and full of energy, a promising start for our weekend trip. We faced less than ideal wind conditions, with headwinds shifting to sidewinds periodically. We anticipated a total ride time of around 5 to 6 hours as we weren't aiming to push ourselves to the limit. After all, it was a coffee ride, not a race or a workout. The wet patches on the roadside were unwelcome on our road bikes, but spotting gaps in the clouds in the distance lifted our spirits. Just over half an hour into the ride, the road dried up as the rain clouds drifted behind us. Our planned route followed the 85-year-old highway, winding through multiple small towns, each offering picturesque views of the landscape and charming architecture of cozy villages. Occasionally, our old road met the new modern highway on our right, highlighting a stark contrast between the two. The new highway buzzed with cars and trucks zooming by at high speeds, while our historic route remained tranquil with only a few drivers uninterested in speeding. With a low speed limit and a birch tree alley lining our path, the white road bike and white socks danced to the rhythm of the ride. As we rode, motorcyclists on old World War II motorcycles came from the opposite direction, cheerfully waving at us. Their vintage bikes added a nostalgic charm to our journey, bridging the past and the present. With polite drivers along the route, our ride felt even more special. One driver, in particular, slowed down and came to a complete stop just to let us pass, even though he had the right of way. We had to make a few quick pit stops along the way, but the sky was getting clearer with each passing mile. The blue hues began to dominate, replacing the early grey and lifting our spirits. With the bright sun in the blue sky above us and the warm gentle breeze nudging us to the right, we had left 120 kilometers of road behind us. The small church town was crossed in no time, adding a quaint charm to our journey. Just another hour and 20 minutes of a relaxed ride and we were nearing our final destination. With just a dozen kilometers left to go on a winding cycling track around the city. Within the next 20 minutes, we reached the city itself and stopped to capture the moment. The three of us stood there, smiles on our faces, reflecting the unique meanings of our names. My name has Norwegian roots and means a foreigner. The guy in black is named Stormman. And our third adventurer's name means Echo. So there we were, the foreigner, the storm man, and the Echo. It sounds like it, the beginning of an epic tale or perhaps a quirky superhero team. <laughs> the Sun Town, as it is alternatively called, truly lived up to its name with radiant sunshine greeting us as we arrived. Another ray of sunshine met the three superheroes as we paused at a crosswalk. Standing beside her bright white folding bike, she smiled at us. The cheerful atmosphere of the town was palpable, reflected in the vibrant greenery and the bustling yet relaxed streets. My wife joined us, adding more joy to the ride. We continued our exploration and came across another intriguing sight a massive steel fox statue standing proudly by the water. This modern artwork invites visitors to stop and admire such craftsmanship. To celebrate such a wonderful day, we went to a local restaurant to taste some local food. The flavors were rich and authentic, 
perfectly capping off our memorable journey through city. After a quick lunch, we went out into the city in search of an extraordinary coffee, which has become a ritual to enjoy in some amazing place, our coffee quest. We spotted one and immediately stopped there. Mint tea, a ginger oat cookie, a golden teaspoon, and an elegant cup of tea and coffee. What could be more indulging? 